You will need your model and IMEI number in order to request a network unlock code from SamsungCodeSource.com, the best source for your network unlock codes. There are three locations where this information can be attained, the first being the box that your unit came with. This is a cutout of mine. It shows the model and IMEI number. The second location would be on the unit itself. There are two. If you use a dialer and dial star pound zero six pound, you will get the IMEI information. The third location will be on the unit itself. Mine happens to have it on the back. And if you could see right about there, it's the last line. I have received my uh, code, so I will be showcasing how to do it. First, turn off the unit. Lucky for me, mine came with a little nifty tool to remove this cover, and voila, your SIM card is in here. I will be switching out to see if this zooms in AT&T from dun -da -da, T wait T-Mobile. Boot it back up. As you can see here, it's requesting an enter on network lock code. I will be entering mine now. Five, let's see. Five. Zero seven five seven two five eight. Code accepted. It says easy as pie, and that's pretty much it. See, it says AT and T now. Hope this video helps, and go to. SamsungCodeSource.com for your number one source for your network code.